This is certain to anger taxpayers and many on Capitol Hill. A new report indicates the federal government's $700 billion bailout program overpaid banks by tens of billions of dollars. CBS News correspondent Priya David has been investigating the story, and she joins us now with more. Good morning, Priya. Julie, good morning. One of the big problems with the TARP program was how to value the toxic assets the banks were putting up in exchange for bailout money. Now there are indications that the government paid financial inst institutions too much for those assets, and the amount is staggering. From a banker's perspective, it was a sweet deal. A congressional oversight panel recently took a look at the first $250 billion bailout dollars the government spent buying shares of the big banks to keep them afloat. After six weeks of number crunching, here's what they found. Treasury substantially overpaid. In the fall, the government spent $254 billion on assets that were only worth $176 billion, overpaying by a whopping $78 billion. The Treasury paid Citigroup $25 billion for assets the panel valued at only $15 billion, $10 billion too much. The government paid AIG $40 billion for assets valued less than $15 billion, $25 billion too much. What appears to be wasteful spending is angering many on Capitol Hill. You need is somebody to look at the waste and abuse of taxpayers' money. And that's AIG told us it sold its shares to the government at a fair market value at the time. The company said for the most part its securities are performing, and if they continue to appreciate, taxpayers will get the majority of that upswing, which in this market could take a very long time. Julie. CBS's Priya David. Thanks, Priya. Joining us exclusively from Washington is Harvard professor Elizabeth Warren, head of the oversight panel. Good morning. Good morning. Your panel estimates Treasury overpaid by $78 billion. How could they have overpaid so much? Well, they're trying to push money into banks. And the question the oversight panel was asking is, are you getting an equivalent amount back? And so that's what this was about. Now, there could be lots of policy reasons that Treasury might decide that it wanted this money to be in the banks. Uh, but our question is the one we put to Secretary Paulson, and that is, are you putting it in and getting back assets that are worth equivalent value? He told us yes. Our independent investigation said no. So are you saying he was lying? Well, I'm, I'm telling you he told us yes, and our independent investigation said no. Can um, you... It, I'm sorry, go ahead. It didn't happen. I'm sorry, it didn't happen. Can you see any reason why Treasury would pay more for investments than they appear to have been worth at the time? Well, when under these circumstances, when Treasury pays more, effectively they're subsidizing the banks. It's, it's like giving a gift to the banks uh, in order to help prop the banks up. And so if Treasury wants to subsidize the banks, that may actually be a good policy. It may not be a good policy. The panel doesn't go there. Our real point is, if we're going to subsidize, then we need to call it subsidization, and we need to have that good old-fashioned debate about whether that's the right way to spend our money here. You don't get to call it one thing and sell the American people on it by calling it that thing and actually have it be something very different. Let me ask you this. Do you see any grounds for a criminal prosecution here. Now, this isn't about criminal prosecution at this point. This is about how Treasury is conducting its business. It's about how Secretary Paulson said he that he thought the right way to spend this money is to inject it into banks. We can talk about whether that's the right way to go. But describing it one way, telling the American people one thing about it, and doing something very different. In the final seconds, can the American people somehow have a voice in all this and help determine what happens with their taxpaying dollars? You bet. That's exactly what this process is about. You know, if we didn't have any congressional oversight, we wouldn't be sitting here this morning talking about this. It's the fact that we have a congressional oversight panel that's here. We're asking the hard questions. We're making the independent evaluation. And we're going to come back to the public with this. That's what gets everybody involved. And when everyone is involved, then we can make better decisions about how to get ourselves out of this mess. Professor Elizabeth Warren, we thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.